on what they call haptics, the science of computer-aided touch sensitivity to refine the process even further by using robots. Surgeons are now using joysticks to manipulate a robot's arms from a console several feet away from the operating table. One company that's leading the way is Intuitive Surgical. This is a U.S. listed company that has seen, as you can see, its stock jump over 100% just this year as its Da Vinci Surgical System gains international appeal. Countries here in Asia are also investing in the technology. Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand and Japan all have purchased Intuitive Surgical's machines. Now to explain robotic surgery to us is Dr. Susan Lim. She is Chairman and CEO with the Centre for Robotic Surgery. Welcome to Squawk Box. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Tell us what sort of procedures generally uh, surgical robots are used in. Right. When we talk about robotic surgery, Procedures that can benefit from robotic surgery would be procedures which demand a better visualization and complex procedures requiring stitching, reconstruction and complex dissections. And these robots can, can sort of duplicate these very fine motor skills that a yes. surgeon's hands have, yes. you know, the, the twisting of the wrist and all that sort of thing. Much better. Really? What, what it is actually is if you can imagine a surgeon sitting on a console pretty much like a pilot in a cockpit flying an aeroplane. So the surgeon is seated in the console and he or she is totally immersed in the console. The console provides a three-dimensional superior visualization. The image of the operating field is ten times magnified and the surgeon is moving with his or her fingers master controls which then control the robotic instruments which have been pre-positioned in the patient through millimeter incisions and these robotic instruments have actually seven degrees of freedom of movement so they are wristed instruments and they have the ability to seek out very deep recesses of the human body that's quite fascinating i'm going to be uh, pessimistic here and ask you what happens in the case of computer failure. <laughs> yes. uh, here again it's very important to realize that the surgeon is totally in control the surgeon is also, in this instance, his or her own assistant. So if the computer fails, the surgeon just continues on with the surgery. Now, presum the surgeon and the patient are in the same room. So uh, presumably doctors have to be retrained here to oh, operate yes. these. And, and there are certification levels yes. for these doctors? Yes, very strict certification levels. Uh, the other thing that sort of came to mind is that this would be extremely good for work on very small bodies. Children, for yes. instance. And there are children who go yes. through, say, open heart yes. surgery. Are these robotic yes. uh, surgeons used in open heart surgery as well? Robotics has seen a phenomenal growth in the areas of urology, cardiac surgery, pediatrics, general surgery. And right now, you know, right across the world, senior surgeons are looking at new applications every day. For instance, we, we have just done a first series of um, auxiliary dissections for breast cancer. And if you can appreciate, that's very fine surgery looking at preserving nerve structures and lymph nodes and such not. Now, when you talk to, and I don't know if you do, but I assume that you talk to the different hospitals, for yes. instance, just in Singapore, yes. about the benefits, yes. the medical benefits and the surgical techniques uh, of these robotic uh, surgeons, um, you, you must also be looking at them from the broader picture of, you know, Singapore wanting oh, to be yes. a center for medical expertise and excellence in the region. Yes. So we're going to see a big push towards the acquisition of these expensive machines. <laughs> so as chairman and CEO of Centre for Robotic Surgery, what we do really is, is interface with the two main hospitals in Singapore, the Singapore General Hospital and the Mount Elizabeth Hospital, both of which have robots, Da Vinci Systems. Singapore General Hospital actually had the system first and their unit specialises in urology. Uh, ourselves, we are strong in general surgery and we really work with both hospitals depending on the budget of the patient. Well, we apologize for not having pictures. Oh, actually, there we do. We've got, we had a little bit there, uh, right there, of uh, uh, the robotic surgery taking place. We have to wrap it up there, but thank you very much for your time You're with us welcome. this morning. Pleasure having you thank on you. Squawk Box. Dr. Thank Susan you. Lim, Chairman and CEO with the Center for Robotic Surgery. I've got a couple of minutes.